Welcome to the awesome desktop environment. We're going through the rc.lua. It's a lot of code. I'm just taking out a few that are interesting for you. This one is, is also interesting because we set here a rule. And we say, look, the rule is if you find a class with editor GUI, which is going all the way up, which is atom, which is a variable, it's set at the top. So it's, it says here, if class is atom, then maximite is true. So when I press super F2, it's going to maximize our application atom, which was already open, but it's now also here open. Super shift Q. Maximizing is really using all your screen. What if I would like to have a application like Chipic? Can I launch Chipic? Yes, you can, but it's like you see, it's floating. Even though we say here, hey, guy, tile it, it's not tiled. That's something you need to investigate first. Why is it not tiled? So, well, what I would do is type in JPEG. And what you see here, there's another rule that says, hey, all these guys should float. So it's not going to be tiled ever. So a render, blueberry, g calculator, gnome, fin, all oh, a list, long list of applications that we say, nah, it's not interesting to tile them, let them float. So we're looking for instances, classes, for a name, for a role, and any of these will be floating. That's what it's programmed here in Lua. So we could add that floating is okay with us, so we can keep this line or we can delete it so it's not floating anymore. What we do want is that it's bigger, that it's not that small. So that's if you like, if there are applications that you say this application should always be maximized as big as can be, then okay, then you do that. Shift tab to make this move back here. So GPIC is the name probably we do not know for sure but let's investigate is gpeg the right name there is a tool for you for to do that and the tool is that we oh my, my screen key is off again voila so the, the element you need is ctrl t and we need an application called xprop now i can type all i want but I can't get at the application, I need to be able to shoot it. So I can't shoot it, so I'm shooting at Termite, which is this one here. We're looking for the class of the application. So first off, I need to tell him, hey, stop tiling. Go for floating, that's this button here, or super uh, spacebar. Then I can do Ctrl T, and then the Termite is not tiled, it's floating. Then I say again, okay, xprop, and now I can shoot. Now I can click on something that's in here, Firefox, Spotify, any application. Wherever you click on it, it's going to give you an app, an, a name, an analysis of what is uh, the property of that window. A long list, strange things, but all we need is this. What's the name? So, GPEG, the last one is the one we need, with a capital G. Super shift Q, bye bye. Now, remember that it opens like this. Doesn't matter if it's tiled or not, it opens floating. The only thing I want to do now is that it's maximized true. All right, control S, super shift reload. Checking in here. Oh, it did apply it already, but let's assume it's not there. Super Shift F12, we run GPIC and due to our rule, if you launch GPIC, then you maximize, you get this. So it's uh, anything can, can be done as long as you know the class or the instance or the name or the role, and then you can say floating true, but also maximize true. So these are the properties of that window. So that concludes our tutorial about maximizing and floating.